All right, just picked up our new 2022 Suzuki King Quad. Just wanted to go over it a little bit. Uh, we went, this did a video kind of saying which machines we looked at. Uh, we liked a lot of them, but this one seemed to be the one that's gonna fit the best for what we're looking to do, which is gonna be mainly trail riding. Uh, we do do a little bit of other stuff, but I think the balance and stability of this and the feel of it is gonna be really good for that. The only downfall that I can see so far, maybe this power steering is a little stiff. Otherwise, everything seems great on it. I um, have not taken it out yet. So this Suzuki, the 2022 750AXI, does come with a 12 month warranty, which is really nice compared to machines we've bought in the past that only get six months. Overall length is just over 84 inches. <clears throat> the wheelbase, which basically you're looking from the center of the wheel to the center of the wheel, is just over 50 inches. Uh, we did look at the 800 and 1000 CF motos, and they're a big machine. A uh, very long wheelbase, which is really just going to make it tough for off-roading and mudding and things like that. This, from what I could tell so far, has a buttery smooth, absolute buttery smooth uh, shift, gear shifter and acceleration. The, when as you give it gas it just really picks up nice and smooth and as you shift the gears here so as you can see just going from low high neutral and reverse it's smooth and there's the throttle we added a couple of things to it haven't taken it out yet but we added the front bumpers front and rear bumper you can see here from the front overall nice looking machine we like the front bumper got the winch we added mirrors, we ride in large groups, so really do need to be able to see what's going on behind us just for safety, make sure everybody's doing okay. The 22, at least this version, which was the SE version, did come with the, the uh, plastic pieces over each rack in the front and rear. You got aluminum wheels, and it does supposedly have an upgraded paint. There's a picture of the rear bumper. There are two storage units in the back. There's one there, and then one there. And then you got the circular one there. We found this machine to be very, very similar to the Yamaha Grizzly, which was a run, the next runner up over this one. That's what we competed each with. Uh, we look, took a look at a lot of different ones, but mainly boiled down to the King Quad versus the Grizzly. We will give special mentions but to the Polaris, uh, the 850 or 1000 and to the Can-Am XTP. I was able to find each of those even in uh, summer of 22, 2022. And um, just felt for what we're looking for now for the, the trail riding and the balance that um, we can read off statistics all day, but not all. it doesn't always mean much until you get out on the trail, until you ride it. Um, so it's got the LED headlight, just over seven inches of travel on the gas charge shocks in the back. So it does have independent rear suspension, just over six inches on the front. It has a stainless steel muffler, which I think is great. And then if you look, if you're in the ATVing, you don't have to grease Zerks on this one. So this does have the greaseless Zerks for your bushings, which is really nice. Has a 4.6 gallon fuel tank. <clears throat> Gonna be interesting to see how far that goes. Comparing it to my Polaris 1000, which was a 2018, had about a five gallon. It went about 80 miles typically. Depending on the kind of riding you really do. It has disc brakes up front, but then the rear brake, brake is a sealed unit in the center. Supposed to not really need uh, any maintenance, but it does. This has a 722 cc four-stroke liquid-cooled uh, dual overhead cam single cylinder engine. I think it's going to be plenty for what I need on the trails. Another thing I did really like about this unit, I'm pretty excited about, was the two-inch receiver just makes it easier so it has you can pop one off your car put it right back on there so overall we're going to be doing some comparison videos some update videos um, on this 2022 suzuki king quad my wife and i each have one and <clears throat> we're going to compare the stability the power the mudding it doesn't make it up the sand dunes here in michigan uh, and just kind of compare it to other machines. A lot of them in our group are Polaris, but we will be attempting to ride on others as well. And just give you the honest feedback uh, from some people saying uh, what we're experiencing. So for this one, um, one of the things we were thinking is it is supposed to be good in the mud and it seems to have really good stability. And that's something I was looking for. Polaris 850 and thousands are fantastic. The most probably plush ride you can get, but they are a little top heavy. 
So I'm looking for something on these rutted out trails, steep hills that will just be planted a little better. We'll see if this gives it to me. Thanks for stopping in. Stay tuned. Feel free to like the video and subscribe.